Morning again. Morning. Morning. Um, integers, adding integers. So now that we've talked about what are integers, why we really need them, where do numbers come from, why we need numbers, and why we thought of them, let's talk about adding because you know we always have to add, don't we? Right? You know, in everyday life we add so many numbers. So what if the numbers are not just whole numbers, they're integers? How do we add, add integers? So the rule is, start from the first number on the number line. So today we're only using a number line to add, and the next lesson I'll tell you how to do it without the number line, because of course drawing a number line in everyday life would be really weird. Because if you're standing, someone gives you, you know, what's negative five plus three, you're not gonna say, okay, number line, negative five, this, this. So we're using a number line to understand it, and then once we know what adding means, I'll then give you a shortcut to add or subtract any integer. Is that clear? Yeah. So start from the first number on the number line. So I'm going to quickly draw a number line. Now I only need really some numbers. So I'm going to write one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, they should be equally spaced, but I don't have a ruler. And let's just assume that they're equally spaced, right? So the gap between zero and one should be the same as the gap between one and two and so on, right? But I don't want to waste time doing that on the board. I'd rather teach. So eyes on the board. Start from the first number. What's the first number? Two. So this is your first position. So you're adding two and positive three. Then if adding a positive integer, am I adding a positive integer? Yes. Which direction you move? Right. So I need to move to the right. How many places? Three places. So from here, one, two, three. What's your answer? Five. Positive or negative? Positive. So the answer is five. If you're writing a positive integer, okay. We don't, can you see that I don't have to mention that they're positive? So five is, you know, it means positive five, right? But if you're writing a negative integer, of course you need to write the number. Does that make sense? Yeah. Now, next one. Start at negative three, and you're adding a positive integer, so you add four. So again, draw a number line. Again, let's assume they're equally spaced. Okay, starting at negative three. Because we're adding a positive integer, we move to the right. How many places? Four. One, two, Three, four. Answer? One. Make sense? Next one. Again, draw a number line. And it's a good way to see that zero doesn't have to be in the middle when you draw a number line. And you can use one number line to do multiple questions, but don't do 100 questions on one number line so you don't know what's going on. Okay? Now, starting from, well, starting from, wake up. Negative four. Negative four. Am I adding a positive integer? No. So let's have a look. If adding a negative integer, move to the left. So now, starting from negative four, I'm gonna move left five places. One, two, three, four, five. What's the answer? Negative. How easy is it? Isn't adding integers easy? Yes. That's it, so, and you can do it in your head as well later on. Okay, I'm gonna do, I'm at negative four on the number line, I need to move left that many places, uh, that's where I'll end up. Okay, but for now, let's draw number lines, because we understand it more. Stop making weird faces. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. All right, next one. Starting at? Starting at? Negative I'm adding a positive integer. So I'm moving to the right. right. One, two. What's the answer? Zero. 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 So it's like you were two levels below the ground level, you've moved two levels up. Where are you now? Zero, ground level. That makes sense, doesn't it? Yes? This, yeah, you were on the second floor, you moved up three floors, you're on the fifth floor now. Does that make sense? Yeah. Great. Next one. Starting at? Negative three. Negative three it is. I'm adding? 
a negative integer. So I move to the left. left. So I need more negative numbers here. Left, how many units? Two. two. One, two. What do I end up with? Three. It's like you were already three levels below the ground and you've moved down two levels. So how many levels below ground you are now? Five. Does that make sense? Yes. Do we know how to add integers? Yes. Do we know how to use the number line to add integers? Yes. Brilliant. Let's get on with the work.